Hello all my crafty friends. Today I have a special edition video for you. I am in collaboration with Sandra from DIY at the Schwoven's Nest. More about her later on in the video. First craft, Dollarama Crafts. You will need some rope or some jute twine, some ribbon of your choice. These are the ones I use. Pencil and scissors. Some felt of different colors, cardboard, and things with circles that you can trace onto the cardboard to cut out. I'm using this pot and that little lid. A glue gun with some glue sticks. First off, what we're going to do is we're going to trace our circles onto the cardboard. I'm using the bottom of this clay pot plus the top of this clay pot. And then I also use the top to a jar as well. And then what I do is I cut them out and put them aside to use soon. There they are all cut out and ready to go. Next, what we're going to do is trace those circles on to the fabric of your choice. I'm using the pink, the blue and the white. And there they are all cut out. Next, you're going to take whatever rope you're using. I'm using the jute rope. I put a little bit of glue on the bottom so that it doesn't frizzle and fray all over the place. And then starting in the middle of that cardboard, you're going to place your jute rope. And while adding glue from your glue gun, you're going to wrap that rope and cover that entire cardboard piece circle. You're going to continue gluing and wrapping and gluing and wrapping until you're all the way down to the end. Here I am continuing to glue. I'm right at my very end almost cutting it off and I add a little more glue at the end so that the end doesn't fray. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to decide on what size of petal that you're going to use. I've decided that's how big I want mine and I cut off, I think it's eight pieces of the same length. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to fold your rope into two and glue it on the back, creating a petal. Don't worry about all that glue and that mess that's going to happen back there because we will be covering that up. Next, what you're going to take is your ribbon of your choice. You're going to lay it on it, cut off the piece so that it all fits on there. And then you're going to glue that petal to the ribbon. After it's dry, you're going to trim the ribbon up so it's all along the edges of the petal. And there you have one petal for your flower. I do this same process for all the other petals and also for the other two flowers that I make. Now that all my petals are on, I decided it needed a little something else, so I'm going to add some greenery to it, some of these leaves. I decide where I want it and how I want to place it and I just glue it down with my glue gun. Still looking at it thinking it needs something else, but I decide I continue forward sticking, I'm going to stick this pink felt onto the back, putting some glue around the edge. And then I stick it to the back of that flower, hiding up all that mess back there. I'm still thinking it needed something else. So I went and found these little white yellow daisies, pulled one off and decided, yep, that's going to go right there in the middle. I did the exact same thing for the other two. Now, this idea kind of came from another Crafter YouTube's channel. Her name is Sammy from Unicorn Dust Designs. 
back before Easter, she made little bunnies looking like this. And I decided to make some. And while I was standing there looking at them, looking outside, I thought, hey, I can make flowers the exact same way. And here they are. I decided to put little hangers on in the back. So if I decide to hang them in my window or on the wall, I have those there to do so. And there they are, set up in my house. They're really pretty. I really enjoy them and it's something that I can have out all season. Now let's talk about Sandra from the Schwoven's Nest. She is absolutely wonderful creator. She does farmhouse, trash to treasure, wood crafts and more. She has been so kind to take me under my, her wing and collaboration with me for this special video. I will absolutely put a link to her channel down in the description box. So I please ask everybody to go over and take a look at her newest video that's in collaboration with me and any of the other videos she has. Let Sandra know that I said hi and that you're coming from my channel. Dollarama craft number two. You will need a clay pot, some paint, red, black, and white, some paint brushes, some felt sticks or some wire, some black felt, and I'm using a lid to a coffee can, which is plastic. Some eyes that I drew out. You can draw any kind of eyes you want. And your glue gun. First, what we're going to do is we're going to paint the body of this clay pot red. And if you haven't guessed it already yet, we're making a ladybug. So fun. I gave this pot uh, two and a half coats just to make sure everything was covered up. And here I am drying it because I hate waiting for paint to dry. Next, what I'm going to do is deciding on where to draw the face. So I go for this middle piece. I liked having that little part in the middle popping up because I thought that would be kind of cute, kind of looking like a nose. So I cut it out with my scissors and it's super easy because it's plastic. And then I take my drawing. First I line it up to see to make sure it's okay. Then I take my drawing and with a pencil, I press somewhat fairly hard onto the plastic. I draw out my eyes. And then I show you here that you can kind of see it there, but the dents went through, so this way I can paint it. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill my eyes in with the white paint so that you could see them. Just following along those lines that I put in onto the little plastic, I'm just painting them all in. Now that they're painted, we set it aside to dry. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take this little sponge brush that you can get from the Dollarama and with the black paint we're going to add dots all over the pot. Anywhere you want it, however many you like, it's all totally up to you. Whatever makes you think that you've had enough. Now taking my pliers and those wire things, I believe they came from flowers or something. I'm going to bend the ends down into somewhat of a circle-ish thing to make them look like antennas for our ladybug. Then taking my glue stick, I glue on the eyes, making sure it's nice and secure. Then I take the antennas, place them as where I want them. And then using my glue gun again, I put a little bit of glue in behind the eye where the antenna is sitting and just a little tiny bit on top to hold it in place. I do the exact same thing on the second one. As you can see in the end, we never did use the black felt, so you won't need that. And here you have it. A cute little clay pot ladybug. He's cute. 
If you want to put them outside, just give it a clear coat of, of varnish or whatever to have it outside. And there it is, set up in my house. He's sitting on my windowsill now, looking outside. I think he's cute. I love ladybugs. If you are new here and you're coming over from Sanders' channel, welcome. We love having you here. And if you like and see what, if you like seeing what I do, please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and don't forget the notification bell. You can also follow me on Instagram at Tammy Lou Bro. Dollarama Craft number three. You'll need a can. This is a coffee can. Some paint colors of your choice. I'm using purple, white, teal, yellow, pink, and this light blue. A clear coat spray, something that could be used for when it's outside. I'm using the top of a foam tree because I wanted that round spot part there. A stick of your choice and some glue. Some paint brushes and of course ribbon and bird seed. Can you guess what we're making? A bird feeder. First thing we do is we coat the can in this pretty light blue color. I picked all spring-like colors because, well, why not? It was getting close to spring when I was doing this. There was still snow outside, but I thought, let's bring spring a little faster. I gave this can a good coat. I believe it only took one coat to fill it, which was awesome. Now that it's dry, I'm taking the teal color and the top part of that foam tree that I had, and I'm just going to put dots all over the can. I do the same with the yellow. And then I also do the same with the pink. I ended up not using the purple. Because I figured after all these dots, there was quite enough. Now we're going to spray it with a clear coat spray. This way when it's outside, all that paint is protected. Next, you're going to take your ribbon and measure around your can to go all the way around and cut it off. Then you're going to glue it on. What I'm using is, it's uh, like a caulking or a silicone, but it's made for bathtubs and showers and stuff, but it works awesome for when you're using it outside because it gets wet too. Then taking another ribbon, measuring how long you want it to hang, because this is gonna hang from the can, you're going to cut a piece off and then you're going to weed it through the ribbon that you've glued, glued on and all the way through and up. Just like that. And then you're going to glue the two ends together. Again, I use this caulking or silicone and my glue gun. See, and there you have it. Now we're going to add the stick for the birds to perch on. I'm taking this square dowel. You can use a stick from your yard or really anything you want. I'm adding some of that tile glue again for bathrooms and some hot glue and I'm going to glue it in two spots. One in the, in the can and then again on the rim of the can where the, the stick hits. Then I decided it needed something else, so I just took some more of that ribbon and tied it in two knots right there in the middle, and then I trimmed it off, just to give it a little something extra in between. Now, let's add the bird seed, pouring the bird seed in, and it's ready to be hung. Pretty easy and quick craft to make. And also cute at the same time, nice and springy. And there, here you'll see it hung out on my tree outside. Yes, there's snow there. When I made this craft, there was still quite a bit of snow on the ground. Right now, the snow is all gone, thankfully. But apparently it is supposed to snow again this week, which doesn't sound like fun. I had my son climb up that snow bank and hang it on the tree branch for me because I did not want to slip and fall.
Now the final craft, Dollarama craft number four. What you will need are these little square boards that you can get from Dollarama, some square dowels, ruler and a tape measure, some jute twine, a saw, some paint, glue gun, glue stick, and I have two of these little clay pots. First, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take one of those square dowels and line it up with the wood board. Put a line there so that I can cut them down to size. Using my hand saw, I just trim along the way, go, 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 until it goes all the way through. Shakey, 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 shake. Then I put those two in place and I take another square dowel, measure it along the sides, and I cut two of the same size like that. I am making, or what we are making, is a mini three-tiered tray. So you will need six of the one size and six of the other size of the square dowels cut. And that's basically what they're going to look like when glued down. And here I am getting ready to cut all the rest. I realized I didn't have enough of this big uh, wood dowel so there's another size down so the top tier has the smaller size dowels and it looks awesome now it's time to assemble it taking this I don't remember what glue this was I didn't have e6000 or anything at the time so I was just using really anything but it was super stinky glue but taking this glue and glue gun I put it in the middle the glue gun on the end and press it into place I had to sand the edge of this one a little bit because it was a tad too long because I should have taken it and actually measured it up against it instead of just cutting it. I did not do that. And I glue them into place. I do the exact same thing for the other two trays, making our own little tiny tray. Now taking those two smaller clay pots, I believe they're two and a half inch, and the white paint, I paint the pots entirely. I also paint the trays white as well, all over, front, back, middle, sides, everything. Every little nook and cranny. And then for some reason I lost the footage to it, but I distressed everything in pink and gray. You'll see right there, I kinda, you can see the pink. I distressed it in the pink and gray just to give it a little extra oomph. Now taking that stinky glue again, I put some around the edge of the flower pot along with my glue gun. And then I center it in the middle and put it down in the middle of the first tray. Then doing the same thing, I put glue on the top of this clay pot and then I center it and put it on the middle of the second tray and I do the same thing for the third tray. I think the longest part for this project was cutting all those pieces to fit. Other than that, this was a super, super easy product. Now taking the jute twine, I'm going to glue and wrap it around each of the trays. Just to hide up all those where all the woods meet together. Just to end to give it a little more extra oomph. A little salt and salt in there. And there you have it. A tiny mini three-tier tray. And there it is set up in my windowsill with a, ca a candle on top. It would be good for little trinkets and keys and all sorts of stuff. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this collaboration with Sandra from the Schwoben's Nest. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, like this video, and don't forget that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram at Tammy Lou Bro. I hope everyone has a wonderful Saturday and we'll see you again on Thursday. Bye.